Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens, I love you guys. Hope you guys are well and safe, thank you for tuning in, thank you for your love and support, I love you guys. Okay, so uh, seeing is believing, that's what I heard. Seeing is believing, this is how you're choosing to live your life, or this is how somebody's viewing you right now. Um, when somebody heard about you and the path that your life was going, like the path that you chose to take in your life or how you overcame adversity, how you overcame obstacles, how you overcame challenges, how you got back up after a whole bunch of people orchestrated to bring you down, um, in some sort of way, however this played out in your life, you could be Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node or Venus, this message will resonate or might resonate with you. You could be a cross watcher. But I'm picking up on this energy. Seeing is believing. Somebody was very wrong about you. Somebody didn't understand. Somebody didn't understand the reason why you came into their life in the first place. Okay, so I'm picking up on somebody that you met because you were met like you were destined to meet this person. You came into this person's life as some sort of a spark, like a flame, like to ignite this person's passion inside of them. All right, so you were meant to come across this person's path. Whoever this person is in your energy, now they see something taking place in their life. You could have warned them about, you could have warned this person about certain things that were going to take place in their life if they took a certain direction or if, you know, they didn't pull back from their energy from certain people. Somebody could have told this to you. Maybe you got a reading. Maybe you got a message from somebody that told this to you and gave you advice and told you about certain things and people and things that were going to take place. And now you believe that this person was sent to you by the divine or this person believes that you were sent to them by the divine to give them a message or to put them on the right path or to ignite their passion or a spark inside of them to help them awaken. So yeah, you're listening to your ancestors, you're listening to your guides, you need to be listening to your ancestors, your guides, you need to be connected with the most high, you need to meditate, ground yourself, live your life accordingly. Because you have been doing that, you're about to receive a beautiful gift from the divine, from the universe, and the ancestors that support you and protect you through this spiritual warfare you've been going through. All right? So somebody here is giving you recognition, or this person is holding you in high regard. This person could be defending you or your name to other people or a group of people. This person is standing up. And this person is going to give you recognition. All right. So this person might be giving you public recognition or just coming into your uh, into your energy with a message towards you to let you know that you were right, to let you know that you helped them, to let you know that, you know, they were wrong about you or that they should have took your advice or, you know, that they want to work with you. Whatever this person wants, wants to do when it comes to you, I feel like this person wants to make amends with you or they want to work with you or they take you very seriously and they want to learn something from you. They want you to teach them more. Then I heard, teach me how to love. Show me how to love. So maybe you have activated somebody's heart chakra. Somebody's heart chakra has been activated in the situation, whether it's your heart chakra or somebody else's heart chakra. Okay. Because you um, you taught this person a lesson, a valuable lesson, that when they have somebody, when they have somebody that they love or care about, they need to appreciate them and value them and hold them in high regard. Maybe you learned the lesson of self-love and now you know how to love yourself and hold yourself in high regard. So wh whether this is you and this person, I feel like both of you guys, all right? So this person is coming through and they want to bring you a gift. They want to give you something. The universe is giving you a gift or something is going to happen like a miracle. An unexpected moment, a surprise, recognition, you're winning something, something's going in your favor, something's being approved, or somebody's bringing you a gift. I promise you this energy is strong here. So listen to your guides and your intuition. Do the right thing. Always put good intentions in everything that you do. Don't worry about people that are going to give you negative comments or negative feedback, or they're going to try to uh, target you. 
all right? As long as you keep your mind free of any fears and any doubts, and you know that you have good intentions in whatever you're doing, then keep on going. Keep your faith because you're about to receive a major blessing and a major gift. Your, your wish is coming true. All right? Yeah, trust the divine. Trust your path. Trust your purpose. Trust the divine because where, where you're going, all these people were not meant to be going. All right? They weren't meant to come with you for a reason because they had to do, do some shadow work. They had to uh, pay their karmic debt. All right? These people created a lot of karma for themselves, and now they're, they need to pay their karmic debt. You had a karmic debt to pay. I feel like you already went through these tower moments. You already went through the most. You already had to... Uh, live in some sort of dark timeline or maybe you had this happen to you right and now you're on the other side of things now you have cleared your karmic debt so now it's time for you to receive something because you learned a valuable lesson and you changed your ways for the better all right yeah you have a major blessing coming in with the uh, yellow bird yellow bird could be significant for somebody pink flowers wonders yeah there's so 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 much to you that meets the eye. There's more to you than meets the eye, and some there's a lot of people that are recognizing your uh your your talents, your gifts. Uh, that every time you come back and you're better than before. Something about every time you come back, you come back better than before, or every time you're transmuting energies, you're shape shifting into a better version of yourself. And they and you're and they don't recognize you anymore. Somebody doesn't. These people don't recognize you anymore. But this one person does recognize who you are. And this one person does value you the most. This person is going to stand up and fight for your connection. Or they're going to come towards you and they're going to give you the recognition that, that you deserve. Okay? This person, is, it's like you mean everything to this person, Aries. Okay? Let's see what's going on here in the energies. Thank you, Spirit. I heard Cassandra. Cassandra or Sandra. Sally. Lamar or Jamar, Antonio or Antoine, the Hierophant in reverse, hmm, what's this Hierophant in reverse, you could be dealing with a Taurus that's under judgment, or a Taurus that's dealing with a court situation, you could have Taurus in your chart, this person took a leap of faith against you, this could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be, this is somebody that doesn't have a lot of spiritual beliefs, all right, or they don't agree with your spiritual belief system. All right, but you're getting rewarded in a situation. If you're dealing with a court situation, somebody took some action against you and it was illegal and you're getting justice from the situation. Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Aquarius energy, Aries energy, the Page of Swords in the reverse. All right, these people can no longer illegally illegally spy on you, illegally watch you, illegally uh, hack into your accounts or somebody was doing that, hacking into your accounts or trying to hack into your emails. Page of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They're not going to be able to steal something from you or take it from you. They're being blocked. Mm. The Chariot in reverse. What did I say? They're being blocked, okay? So there's a Cancer, there's a Taurus, there's an Aquarius. Gemini or Libra that's under judgment or they're blocked from trying to block you from receiving justice in the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, they wanted you out in the cold. They wanted, they wanted you to be left out in the cold. They didn't want people to accept you. They didn't want people to take you seriously. They didn't want you to have a comfortable life. They wanted you to be homeless. Yeah, but this is what's happening to this person or this group. Yep, and you're getting communication, page of wands, that something's going in your favor, that you stand to receive this money, or that you stand to uh, come out on top of a situation, that your name's being cleared. Whatever needs to be paid to you is going to have to be paid to you. Tenfold. Eric, Erica, Jasmine, or Jasmine, Jamie, Jacob. I heard Cora. So Cora, I heard Cora or Carla. I heard Jameson. Mitchell or Michelle. Marcus. Page the Knight of Cups in the reverse could be a part of this whole situation. 
So I feel like this Knight of Cups was sent towards you to try to get you off your path, to try to get you off your purpose, to hinder you, to give you some sort of STD or something like that, or to put something in your drink, or to put you on a dark path and a timeline. This Knight of Cups has been exposed, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, going down with this whole group of people too. But you have expansion in your life. You have the world card. All right, so something that you guys have been working on and creating is really happening for you guys, the Nine of Cups. You guys are getting gifts and reward for the divine, from the universe, for your diligence, for your hard work, for uh, continuing to move forward, even though you guys were tested so many times to quit or give up. But you kept going and look, the world... All right, somebody wants to invest into you or your business. Somebody wants to uh, give you recognition and put you on a pedestal or uh, give you an opportunity, invest into you. Somehow this person has been watching you. Recognition is here. No matter how much they try to tarnish you, you just have, you just shine brighter and brighter. And this is how it's going down. All right, so yeah, you're transmuting that dark energy into light, okay, for yourself to reap blessings from the divine. Mm. Right. What what deck am I going to pull? Somebody's uh, in despair because this person realized your value when it was too late. So somebody recognized your value when it was too late. This person um, has been watching you online. They could be watching you from a fake account. This person feels like a fool or people are, are looking at them like a fool. Because this person had you in their life and they didn't value you. They didn't appreciate you. They told people they really didn't care. They made a mockery of you. This person is in despair. They're under judgment. And um, they don't know how to get out of a situation. This, this is somebody that you could have gave your love to. This person ended up with a karmic or going back to an ex. Yeah, this person knows that grass wasn't greener. The color green might be significant. Somebody could have seen a grasshopper. A praya mantis could be significant to somebody. I see you in my dreams. Somebody seeing you in their dreams now. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This person ha um, can't get over sex with you, I guess. When you guys uh, were intimate, this person can't get over it. This person is looking at your photos, trying to manifest you. Twin flame, okay? This could be somebody that was your twin flame. This person wants to... Uh, uh, to come into contact with you. This person is going against the odds to get to you. Going through a divorce. This could be somebody that's going through a divorce, separating from a, from a karmic and family members. Like I said, seeing is believing. This person believes everything you said to them now or they believe in your gifts now. Now they believe that, that you know, whoever they were with is not the divine feminine or masculine. They already know that the person that they're with was a karmic that they were with. I want to talk to you in person. This person wants to have a child with you. If you can still have children, I'm awake to this connection. This person's awakened to the connection. Leaving everything behind. You guys were meant to have a chosen child for some of you guys. Earth angel, this person recognizes that you're an earth angel, a healer, light worker, or an empath. Very divine, very protected. All right, I'm fighting for your love. This person is fighting for your love. I'm ready for real love, okay? This, this is somebody that's ready to be loved and they're ready for real love. So, uh, yeah, you guys have a decision to make. You guys can have a lot of options right now. A lot of people uh, attracted to you right now, getting a lot of offers right now. There's somebody in specific that's going around your community or your workplace or this person is going around your family. Whatever, Whoever this person is around, they're telling people that they're with you, that they're dealing with you, that they're in a connection with you, but you don't even talk to this person. You could have rejected this person, but they want people to think you're dealing with them in order to block your love life or from blocking other people. You know, if you guys are single and you have a social media platform then then just you know just put a random post i'm single i'm free i'm independent and i'm sullivan i'm not dealing with nobody all right if anybody tells you they're dealing with me they're lying maybe you guys need to put a post like that because somebody's going around here lying saying that you're dealing with them trying to block other people or another person from giving you a love offer something is specific about somebody putting up a post on social media or telling somebody that they were dealing with you through social media or messenger or on some sort of platform. All right. So this is specific for somebody. That's specific. That could be, you know, what you're going through or somebody's doing. Somebody's doing that behind the scenes. 
telling a bunch of people that you're dealing with them, but you're really not dealing with them, or telling people that you guys are seeing each other, but you're not, in order to block your love life. Like I said, you could have rejected this person or told them, no, like, you're not ready to get into a connection with nobody because you're focused on your money. You're not really focused on love. And for those of you that are focused on love, make sure you're investing your energy into somebody that's worth your energy and time because somebody wanted to create soul tie with you and keep you stuck going back and forth. You have betrayed by a brother. You got betrayed by a father and your father's under judgment or bad health. That's specific for somebody. All right, not for everybody. But publish your book. Write your book. Some of you guys are writing a book. Publishing a book. Putting yourself out there. Yeah. Create your art, your masterpiece, and put it out there. You guys have multiple talents, all right? You guys are the jack of all trades. It doesn't matter what people want or say or do. You're the you're the you're in control of your own vehicle. You're the one that is in the in, you're the one that's deciding who comes, who goes, who stays, who doesn't come at all. All right? So make sure you guys are being the boss of your own life right now, all right? Because they wish to attach you to some sort of soul tie. They wish to block your light. They wish to make it seem like you're dealing with them. Some of you guys are celibate, and somebody could be saying you're dealing with them. The letter P, Q, or R. Sister betrayal. Yeah, somebody's gossiping, all right? But keep moving forward. Don't even pay that no mind. Some of you guys are investing in real estate, or you're looking for a new place or a new home. You're going to find that home, all right? Ground your energies and keep going, my loves. This is your reading. I hope this helped. I love you guys. If you guys are interested in personal reading, my email is down below. If you're interested in Crown Chakra Protection Spray, my email is down below for that too. Thank you so much for your love, support, donations, and your likes and subscribes. Till the next time, namaste.